Okay, class. Okay, so right now we're going to have some examples regarding a random variable that we have already posted the dis uh, discussion on our online platform. Okay, so a random variable is a short review. A random variable is a variable that assumes a numerical value of either countable or measurable data. So when we say countable, those are the values, whereas uh, given in a statement, uh, they are count, they, they, they could be counted like for example a number of people a number of leaves a number of uh, paintings so you can count them uh, those are countable va uh, values for example one two three you can count them as one two three four five six and so on while on the measurable values these are examples are the weights um, the heights and other things that could be measured. So this is another term used for measurable value is a continuous kind of data. So now we have here above, we have an example statistical experiment whereas we will going to know what are the possible value or values for a random, for a certain random variable x. So, Random variables can only assume numerical values when there is a statistical experiment or it is in a, uh, taken from a given of chances. Okay, so example, statistical experiment one. So a coin is tossed upward, count the number of heads. Okay, what are the possible values for random variable x? Okay, so remember always that when we, go, when we are going to uh, when we're going to trust a coin, there is only two possible outcomes. The, those outcomes are the possible outcomes for tossing a coin or a possible outcomes are only head and tail. Okay, the set of outcomes is the what we call the sample space. Okay, so now, so how can we attain a random uh, possible values for the sample space? Okay, first, if we were going to toss a coin, okay, and we have a condition here, okay, we will going to count the number of heads, okay, so a coin has only, uh, uh, if you're going to toss a coin, there is only a result which is head and tail, okay, now, one coin that's for only for one coin now if the result is said we will going to put that as one why one because again it is only one coin if you're if you are going to the coin and if it's head then the next question that you need to answer is how many head are there so there is only definitely one head okay next if the result of choosing a coin is tail, then we could say that we could count that as zero. Because again, we will go back to our condition here that we need to count the number of heads. Okay. So now, this counting of uh, heads as a result of choosing a coin is the what we call, this is the what we call random variable x okay actually class you can represent a random variable in a in any uh, alphabet that you have there so it could be represented by a b c d or anything uh, any any alphabet uh, any letter of the alphabet okay so Let's just go into use x. Okay. So now your random variable is only 1 and 0. And we will go into write that one as x is equal to 1, 0 or 0, 1. Okay. But remember always, maybe you're going to get confused why there is a small letter x. Okay, small letter X represents every member of 
your random variable x. So, small letter x could either be 1 or small letter x could either be 0. Every member of your set of random variable x, capital letter x. Okay, now this is example zero, uh, num uh, example number 1.1. 1 .1. What is our example number 2? Example, same situation, but this one, we will going to have it two coins. Okay, how about if it is two coins? Okay, still the same. A coin has only two result, two possible result. That is still, for example, for the first coin. Then second coin. Okay, for the first coin, still our result would either be still head and tail. For the second coin, that is still head and tail. But class, we should remember that considering the first coin, the possible if if the result is head, then the what is the possible pair of the first coin which is head? The possible result or pair for that is either head or still tail but how about if the result will be tail what is, what could be the possible pair of the result for the first coin for tail that could be for the second coin still either head or tail okay given this possible outcome so we have how many outcomes we have we are going to consider this pair one two, three, and four. We have a total of four possible outcomes. Okay, so we will going to use this possible outcomes later on when we're going to deal with probabilities. Okay, so going back, we have four results, but we will going to stick to our condition of counting the number of heads so we have here remember this is a pair so head head how many heads are there of course there are two how about this pair head tail there is only one head here we have tail head i uh, sorry one how here we have tail head we have still one and here tail for the tail tail result that is no head so that's supposed to be zero so and having your possible values for random variables whatever repetition of a certain value is uh, given there we will go in to consider that as one or we will just go in to disregard the other and we will just go in to settle for this the same value so for random variable x we have the possible values could be zero one two or you could rearrange them like one zero two or two zero one it's still gonna be the same so how many re how many random variables we have here there is only three possible values for this kind of statistical experiment